We're getting closer. We're just a month away now from the spectacular show in the sky. And there are special events happening in many communities. The Adirondacks are expecting thousands of visitors to flood into the region for the once-in-a-lifetime occasion. In Tupper Lake, the Adirondack Sky Center and Observatory is setting up high-powered telescopes and its portable planetarium at the L.P. Quinn Elementary School and teaming up with the Wild Center next door, setting up prime viewing locations and other events that will be happening all weekend leading up to and on the day of the eclipse. This is a once in a lifetime event for everybody in the Adirondacks. We created this community wide planning group, including other organizations, the Wild Center, us, the library, the arts center, uh, the local uh, governments, the school, we, we all have been planning uh, in our monthly meetings for well over a year now. To have a partner right next door that's the only astronomy-based organization in the Adirondack Park, um, it, it really is a perfect fit. The Adirondack Sky Center and Observatory will be hosting specialized photographers and NASA scientists who will be studying and photographing the eclipse. The observatory itself is closed to the public, at the observatory itself, we're doing a, uh, a radio telescope experiment. Uh, it's one of the citizen science uh, experiments for NASA. We'll be studying the effects of the eclipse on the ionosphere through a radio telescope. That'll be set up there, and we'll provide that data back to NASA. Celebrations are also planned for Lake Placid, where all of the Olympic venues will have their own viewing event. The Olympic Regional Development Authority is planning several viewing sites right now at Whiteface Mountain, at uh, the Olympic Jumping Complex, and then at the Olympic Oval. It seems like we're going to have an influx of people here. Sarah Galvin with the Bookstore Plus says they're excited and getting ready. We're going to be making cereal box viewers on Saturday prior to the eclipse, so we're really looking forward to it. They hope to have many visitors, and on April 8th, they're hosting a storybook reading so kids can learn about what to expect before the shop closes for the eclipse viewing. I hope the kids just have a memorable experience um, for the eclipse and get to learn about this incredible world that we live in and the natural beauty that surrounds us every day. Many hotels in the Tri Lakes are already booked. And the city of Plattsburgh has announced an official viewing party at City Beach. Plattsburgh is right in the path of maximum totality for the eclipse and will be in the dark for a whopping 3 minutes and 33 seconds. The City Beach event will kick off at noon on the 8th and run until 5. There will be live music, food trucks, and free parking. The city says the Celestial event will be a great opportunity for Plattsburgh to showcase one of its best features. And you can get a pair of Eclipse viewing glasses by visiting the North Country Chamber of Commerce.